The ocean is only just being explored, and as new technology continues to develop, the internet will be sure to be one of the first places to see it. Sharing information and even videos of marine biology adventures have revealed some of the most shocking Oh, look at that bright, bright color change. Gorgeous. Amazing and nightmare-inducing videos of creatures to come from anywhere. They have truly revealed some monstrous and dangerous things. And here are 15 of the most dangerous ocean creatures in the world. <laughs> Number 15. Box Jellyfish While the ocean is undoubtedly an exciting place, it can also be an extremely dangerous one. Some of the most bizarre and dangerous creatures to exist on this planet make their home in the ocean. So, whenever you plan to take a dip, make sure you take all the proper precautions. If not, you might end up like this poor human who ended up with a dangerous jellyfish on his back. Jellyfish are interesting because they're practically immortal. Some actually can reverse their age. Some jellies and gelatinous sea creatures found throughout the ocean come equipped with some of the world's most potent toxins. If you see jellies like this lying about or floating in the ocean, it would be best to turn the other direction or find a spot where there are none. Unfortunately for this guy, this jellyfish somehow managed to get on his back, either after swimming or was tossed there, seeing as the creatures can't fly. Either way, it's not a good position to find yourself in. The best chance of getting out of this situation alive is to hope the jelly didn't stick to your body and shake it off as soon as possible, which seems to be the case here. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Tiger Shark. Tiger sharks are considered some of the more aggressive predators in the deep blue and have become notorious for eating just about anything they find or are able to capture. In other words, they aren't picky eaters, and that includes unsuspecting humans as well. They've been known to devour vast amounts of different fish, invertebrates, seabirds, sea turtles, some marine mammals, rays, other sharks, snakes, and even dead animals. They're said to have an insatiable appetite. Some have even been found to eat garbage should it come floating their way, including non-foods like metal, plastic, wood, and more. Though they eat generally everything, experts suspect that the sharks specialize on whatever highly available prey exists. This would make sense why sharks have stood as alpha predators for such an extended period of time, stretching back millions of years. A recent example in Hawaii shows their tiger sharks are known to regularly attack and eat green turtles and Hawaiian monk seals. They're well-suited and heavily populated, so the tiger sharks are always fed. Number 13. Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater croc is the largest, most aggressive, and most fearsome of all of today's crocs. These impressive and long-living reptiles can survive for more than 100 years, so long as they get to their massive adult size. These behemoths can grow to 23 feet in length and weigh more than one ton if they make it that age. Australia has the largest and highest quantity of the dangerous species. One particular croc, aptly named Cassius, lives in an Australian preserve and is aged around 100 years old. He currently stands as the most giant crocodile to ever be caught. One thing's for sure, you sure as heck don't want to end up between those massive, powerful jaws. Australia isn't the only place where these behemoths can be found, but they sure like the environment there. Africa also houses enormous numbers of the species who often feed on zebra, gazelle, and other like creatures that venture too close to where this beast lurks. Number 12. Titan Tigerfish All piranhas are considered dangerous, and their notorious and ravenous eating habits are well known throughout the world. However, when it comes to the tigerfish, their ravenous appetite and violent feeding speed takes the championship belt. That being said, Though the species is related, the tigerfish is often misconstrued as one. For ease of descriptions and classification, it's basically a giant piranha because they behave very similar. The only difference between the species is a few unique aesthetics, the sizes for which they can grow. Piranha might have to swim in packs to devour a prey in just minutes, but this behemoth can do so all on its own. With those teeth, it can tear through just about anything. The fisherman then managed to pull this freak of nature reported the teeth were insanely sharp and was about as long as a great white shark. Imagine something with the speed and agility of a piranha, but the size of a great white. If that isn't a nightmare, what is? That's one massive predator fish that few knew existed. 
Anything being compared to a great white shark doesn't need to be taken lightly. These insatiable predators are notorious for consuming prey the same size as themselves, like a snake. Thanks to the aid of their powerful bite and deadly appetite, these nightmares are one dangerous species. Number 11. Moray Eel The moray eel can be considered one of the more dangerous beasts on Earth. Its incredible size, powerful bite, and agile movements allow it to dominate most ecosystems with little fear from repercussion. Unless a shark or croc happens to be lurking about, these eels are likely reigning king. The average size is about 8 feet long and around 30 pounds. These fascinating and somewhat nightmarish creatures have all sorts of utility belt-esque predatory tools that make it sort of like the Batman of the sea. Take its dorsal fin, for instance, which runs the entire length of its body, allowing for extreme maneuverability and speed while swimming unmatched. Even the fastest of this beast's food chance still stands little chance once it's been targeted. These are extremely precise hunters, likened to that of a laser-guided missile. They've often been confused with snakes rather than eels, but the serpentine movements and look are to blame for that. The head of the moray eel is nothing short of a nightmare-inducing sight. With a monstrous head and beady, devilish eyes, its mouth is filled with large, saw-like teeth developed over millions of years of evolution, and all in the name of ripping and tearing its enemies. What makes the moray eel more bizarre is that its jaw and set of teeth actually move the food through its digestive tract to literally ensnare pulled prey into its stomach. In other words, it's a Chinese finger trap set of razor-sharp teeth. Number 10. Oceanic White Tip The fascinating oceanic white tip shark is an alpha predator that loves the wide open ocean. They rarely stray anywhere near shorelines or areas where they can't plunge into the inky blackness of the ocean deep. They're easily recognizable by their white-tipped fins and the obvious reason for its name. However, don't get these marine animals confused with white-tipped reef sharks, which can be found, again, as its name implies, in reef habitats instead of open ocean. Since their meals only need to be found few and far between, oceanic white-tipped sharks are opportunistic feeders, meaning they'll eat pretty much anything that comes across their paths, including more dangerous foe like other sharks, marlin, cephalopods, and even seabirds that venture too close to the ocean surface. They've even been known to eat trash like plastic, metal, and other non-foods. Since they're opportunistic, they've been known to attack the occasional human, but once again, it was those found in open ocean, none near the shore. Shipwreck, for example. During both world wars, this fearsome predator was a major concern for torpedoed boats and downed planes personnel. Other than these instances, it's unlikely they'll attack a human. Changing ocean environments are changing all ocean creatures, so it's fair to assume the same is happening with these beasts. Number 9. Leopard Seal When you first think of a seal, you probably aren't thinking fearsome and dangerous ocean creature, and for the most part, you'd be right. However, when it comes to the leopard seal, this one can't be classified in the same category as others, typically considered more adorable seals. These amazing animals are majestic creatures and fascinating to observe, both in and out of water. They're also a vital part of the polar wildlife ecosystem and experience. While these animals indeed play a unique role in the Antarctic ecosystem, they're widely misunderstood creatures and mysterious in many ways. Standing as the third largest seal in the world, their photos and videos don't do their size justice. Seeing one up close and personal really gives you a sense of their immense size. There are many species that form huge groups across ice caps and landscapes, but this seal is solitary. Experts assume this is because they are more fearsome in their diet and appetite, including the likes of larger penguins and other seafaring fish. Number 8. Blue Ring Octopus This little guy might be considered cute, but looks can be deceiving. You might even consider the creature adorable. A trait of nature typically is that bright colors means dangerous toxins or venoms, and it serves as a warning to would-be predators that if they're eaten, they won't survive either. While some indeed mimic this trait, the blue ring octopus is no fake. In fact, it can be considered one of the more dangerous and toxic creatures on planet Earth. Get your attention? A recent video of a tourist having discovered one recently went viral on the internet for he had no idea what he had in his hand. This comes with the nature of tourism, upon which a rule of thumb can be applied. Never touch animals you don't know, especially from other countries. One little prick from the octopus would have ended that tourist's life, and all because they didn't take the proper precautions when handling unknown wildlife. 
Lucky for them, the octopus didn't feel in danger in his hand, another miracle that occurred on that day. Number 7. Flower Urchin You already know that there are vast amounts of living creatures that constitute our ocean's ecosystem, but can you really put that number into perspective? These beings come in all shapes, colors, sizes, and possess unique traits. Some of these creatures roam freely and of their own volition. Others stay still, like plants on land. One such famed organism, the flower urchin, is an inanimate and spiny creature that has collective features that make it stunningly beautiful, yet notoriously deadly. Sea urchins are often described as majestic and can be found throughout the coral reefs of the planet with flower-like spines that are often white or purple. They often are fed by a venom gland used to prey on different marine creatures. Step on one and you're in a world of hurt. Number 6. Stingray Stingrays are majestic, stunningly beautiful creatures that humans have been sharing the ocean with and admiring for years. So long as you don't position yourself in the wrong position, you're safe from these gentle beasts. The bar protruding behind them is released in self-defense and can be considered so powerful that it could kill a human, as proven many times in the past. It's happened on accident far too many times, but even animal experts like Steve Irwin learn just how easy and powerful they are and the unpredictability of nature. Facing them from the front, these passive-behaved sea creatures are as gentle a beast that Mother Nature produces. They're often found feeding and swimming side by side with humans, but won't hesitate to react in self-defense should someone make it feel threatened, even if it is accidental. They're wild animals after all, and wild animals should be respected as such at all times, no matter the bond one might feel is shared. There are two common types of rays you can swim with, the Manta biostris, the larger of the two species, and the Manta alfredo. The name Manta is Portuguese and Spanish for mantle, the first blanket-shaped trap traditionally used to catch rays. The creatures themselves are known as devilish instead of rays due to their horn-shaped fins. Number 5. Portuguese Man o' War There are all manner of jellyfish out there in the sea. Most of them either deliver a powerful sting or a deadly toxin. For a creature that just floats about the ocean without a seeming care in the world, these are dangerous animals even against the mighty great white shark. The Portuguese man o' war in particular is often referred to as a jellyfish, but is actually a species of siphonophore, a group of animals closely related and similar in most sense. A siphonophore differs from a jelly in that it's comprised of a colony of specialized genetically identical individuals called zooids, clones with various forms functions and tasks all working together in unison. It's really impressive when you consider this. Each of the four specialized parts has its own responsibility for a specific task. For example, one focuses on swimming, another on capturing prey, and another on feeding, reproduction, and so on. They're found mostly in tropical and subtropical seas and propel themselves with the ocean currents aid. They have a hard time doing so otherwise. Number 4 yellow-bellied sea snake. This is one special snake. The aptly named and described yellow-bellied sea snake has the honor of being the most widely ranging snake in the world, as well as the most seafaring, rarely having slithered on land or sea bottom throughout its entire evolutionary life. They can be found in open ocean, but typically stay around the coral reefs of the world where they can be found slithering through the porous alcoves and tunnels of the reef where its favorite prey likes to hide. These venomous sea snakes are fully adapted to living their whole lives in the ocean and thus have certain physical differences from their land-bearing cousins. This includes a smaller ventral scale size, a laterally compressed body, and a paddle-like tail for swimming more efficiently. The valved snout and nostrils have a palatine seal for keeping out seawater and a dermal gas exchange for longer underwater sessions. During this period, they're ferocious predators and hunters. They mainly eat fish and like their land counterparts, will eat prey far greater than their size should the opportunity arise. Number 3. Stonefish As you already know, the ocean is chock full of dangerous, venomous creatures with enough potency to be deadly to a human, some even ten times over. From the aforementioned blue-ringed octopus to the catastrophic invaders, some creatures pack a wallop in their attacks and defenses. Of all the known fish, the stonefish holds the title as the most venomous in the sea. They're closely related to lionfish, lump suckers, and even sculpins. These bizarre beasts are located in the rocky or muddy bottoms of marine habitats throughout the Indo-Pacific region. They come equipped with numerous advantages, like uncanny camouflage. 
That makes them incredibly dangerous and never should be stepped on. Their bodies are typically brownish-orange, yellow, and possibly with red patches. Even their skin is textured to resemble the surrounding rocks or coral to the smallest detail. You might possibly swim right by a stonefish and never know you were near such a danger. If you fancy swimming in the ocean and live in the aforementioned area, keep your eyes poised for these. While the camouflage is certainly for defense, it also is used on offense and thus is considered an ambush hunter. Number 2. Boxfish The strangely named boxfish is equally strange in all other aspects as well. The marine animal enjoys a diet of mollusks, crustaceans, fish, and sand-dwelling worms. These incredible beasts can use their mouths to form tiny jets of water that spray away the muddy concealing sand of the ocean floor. In doing so, the squirt gun effect effectively stirs all the small invertebrates living and hiding there to feed on them. Males are often more colorful than females, as is a typical pattern throughout many wild species. They might boast the world's most dangerous toxin, but the caveat is their infamously slow swim. They do what they can by sculling with their dorsal and anal fins. They're curious and easy to approach in the water, but don't be fooled, these guys are equipped with an impressive amount of maneuverability. What they lack in power and evasive skill, they make up for with precision. Most of their body is encased in a unique armor that excels in deterring would-be predators. This is where this creature gets really interesting and dangerous. They utilize a chemical defense system. This chemical of question contains a potent toxin known by experts as ostracotoxin, which boxfish can produce on the surface of their skin in situations of great stress. Rem Remember that bright color aspect of Mother Nature mentioned earlier? and that they're associated with toxic creatures? It rings true for the boxfish as well. You might be wondering what makes boxfish toxicity any different than any other toxins. According to researchers, the answer falls to two facts. The toxins are chemically unlike any other known fish toxin on the planet, and the toxins are utilized in an entirely different way, without the need for a sting or even be touched to be toxic to the prey or predator. Number 1. Bobbit Worm When you think of a worm, do you think of nightmare-inducing aggressive parasites or wiggly earth tillers? This nightmarish worm might just shift your perspective one way or another, making you wish you'd never heard of it at all. The infamous bobbit worm is considered a hyper-aggressive parasite worm that can grow to be as large as 10 feet long. These are like dune worms with an even more nightmarish behavior. They're extremely agile and possess hundreds of razor-sharp teeth that are capable of sawing through their prey and sometimes even in half. If this worm decided to take a bite out of you, it does so by slicing in half as often as it can, one quick strike, like a samurai worm. They should always be avoided unless you're a trained professional. This little horror, seemingly ripped from horror tales themselves, is also covered with thousands of hair-like stinging bristles that can cause permanent numbness to anything it touches. That's not an exaggeration, permanent as in gone forever. These creatures will wait patiently on the seafloor, hidden beneath the sand, and wait for their unfortunate victims' prey swimming close enough for them to lash out and strike in one fluid motion. It will pop out its head every once in a while to survey the area but relatively remain still for hours at a time. We all know the ocean is a big place, but the amount of species living within it is far from being fully accounted and even farther from fully understood. Who knows what little nightmares might pop up next, or adorable little creature might make itself known. Scientists are eagerly and slowly learning as much as they can and bringing to it the table for the rest of us to explore. And it's never been a better time to access the information and media. The internet is truly remarkable, and as more technology advances in marine biology, you can bet there will be curious eyes that will want to see what lurks in the black depths of the sea. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.